can't falter. 15 seconds left of this prep. We see the remaining barricades go toward. On the double door of mining, no doubt. Potentially one up above. Cops' defense has been solid and sound. There's no doubt about it. They almost could have gone six in a row. They almost could have gone six in a row. It's just not to be. What's going on here? What is this cheek? I love this from Anatan. I absolutely love this from Anatan. Yeah, basically you get to peek it and get info without peeking it. Makes it completely safe. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Do they just They're rush this? Do they just like gone six the barricade and just rush onto site through pillars? I think they do. Oh no. Well, maybe no. not. Never mind. That drone that drone getting shot out completely changes the mission there, but I'm telling you right now, they were looking at that, licking their lips, thinking we're on like Donkey Kong. And it could well have been. But instead, they opt out of it. Now here's a, a little bit of an issue, if you will. 45 seconds have now gone past, more than that. And Zepto haven't started on this defense. They haven't started cracking that egg, which is a serious issue when you consider how important that vertical control is, how important time lends itself on this site. Yep. So they need to get to work just like that. Just yeah, like one. that. Gutterado not on site, of course. He was uh, playing above, but he gets caught by Rec Chan. Almost actually somewhat identical to our last round where Anaton got caught early. Um, and obviously, oh, and this also kind of happened too, but it was actually the other way around. This time though, Anderson gets some freebie information on Red, rather than in the last round, it was freebie Im information onto Anderson. <laughs> oh, sorry, on, onto, yeah, onto the Echo, whoever it was. It wasn't Anderson, he was, he was dead, but still, AA gate it. Trying to maybe just, uh, make sure that Top White's still fully in their hands. Getting aggressive a little bit here on the Vigil. Minute 10 seconds left. They don't have to get too aggressive over towards Cocktail. There isn't much time. They're not going to be able to establish all that match. He makes the cross, but he runs literally what? into the nade. What are you doing, Ayagata? You did not need to do that. He probably just wanted like above pillar control and that was it over towards the balcony, but he literally just runs into the nade. What are you doing? It's a three versus five. You've come back all this way to send it to OT and you bring this in this round? We take a very deep breath right now. Zepto with only three drones left, but look at all the utility. They still have three nades. They have all their flashes. They've got their smokes on Peon. The They've got this. everything they need. They've got intel coming out of their ears. This has to be confirmed by Zepto. Ooh. No. Is there a chance that this story continues on its path towards a Cyclops redemption, a Cyclops comeback. Black Race down, out for the count. One versus four. Unless there's a play through the Gokai drone, unless there's a denial of the plant, it's the only way. It won't be the way though. Zapto, reconfirm. Match point on Cafe, as has been basically for the last 15 minutes. Two more opportunities to send us to Villa. God, it feels like half an hour, Xenox. It feels like half an hour we have been teetering on the point. Zepto, two rounds now to make this work. You've got one defense and one more attack left. You sent home packing at this point. You lose this. Adios. Remembering as well, Oregon went to OT. CAG have been pushed to their limits on both maps. They rose to the occasion on Oregon, we ask them to do the same here. Show us that experience. Show us why we have you coming in as the Goliath of this story. David has certainly thrown his fair share of rocks. Yeah, and, and one thing I would hate more than anything, and I'll just say it now, if this does go to Villa, please at least just play out in a similar fashion to Cafe in Oregon. I hate it when you get these awesome best of threes where the first two maps are like super duper close, everyone's excited, they go and grab like a drink, they're like, oh, I can't wait for this third map, and then it's like a 7-1, and you're just like, well, that was not worth waiting around for. <laughs> so, if it does happen, please, Zepto, don't make this a one-off. At least bring it on Villa. But they've got to, of course, finish the job. Something they've not really been able to do successfully so far here on Cafe. They had many chances 
in finishing off Cafe. Now Cyclops needs to win two in a row. One on the attack, then one on the defense, if they are to confirm their place in the grand final tomorrow. That's just it, Xenox. One of these teams, only one of these teams can go to that grand final. All thoughts would have been for Cyclops, no doubt about it. Zepto have made an incredible call. Hang on a second. What, what's with the early adrenal search? Well, I, think I got excited too. Cheeky? We got excited, but I think it's been called far too early for something to have happened. Okay. Maybe, maybe expecting a spawn peak? Potentially. Potentially. Whatever it was, it's faded into the midst. Only two left now on those surges, on those calls. And again, another one is used out in the open. Yeah, I, this is a little bit perplexing. I mean, like, look, ad the adrenal boost is not exactly like, you know, the best ability in the world, but there hasn't really been any calls for using this at any point. And that's two now, I, I was gonna say wasted, two wasted adrenal surges from Black Ray. One left. We've still got a minute 40 seconds remaining. Would you not want one or two for that late round execution where you're actually going to be taking gunfights? Sure, I guess the adrenaline... There it is, he's going to use the third one now already. I guess the only thing I can think of is using it to maybe push forward, take aggressive positions without being as worried. I guess they do win that fight against Washoi. That's something. Rekchan is down as well. So at least this adrenal search that was used has found some great use. This one has been used effectively. And they will be in a five versus three advantage with one minute left in the round. Make that a five versus two, Xenox. Pion would have to go absolutely nuclear here. Finds the first kill, but can't get anything else done. Pion, got to be careful. He's crossed now, covered. Gatorada sends him to his grave. Six foot under and Cyclops have consistently 15 rounds. 15 oh, brought him out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Let's go to 15. Oh. Let's get there. All right. We've been... We've been mincing words. We've been talking about stories and... Comebacks. Final hurdles. All of these words. It's led to this moment. It has led to this 15th round. Defense. Thoroughly deserved. Cyclops defense five work out well for them in the last round did it it didn't it didn't but nor did it for zepto doesn't make a difference which way you look at it <laughs> they've struggled in ot but it was a 5-1 defensive half both occasions the fact that we've gone to ot only for both teams to win their attack is a little bit absurd and regardless yeah. This is what it comes down to, Zenox. This is what yep. it comes down to. This is where champions are made. This is where champions are decided in this moment right here. And we're in the final chapter of the story of the 6-1 comeback of Cyclops. And this is where that chapter has yet to be written. And yet now they've got that opportunity to write it themselves and set it in history. A chance at the grand final position and a chance at completing the comeback. Honestly, <laughs> I can't do a word. A word Smith, my co-caster, is. He would have been a. He would. He would have been a man of the word back in the day. I tell you what, the medieval days, he would have been the one out in the midst of battle, yelling and screaming, telling of the great stories. And there is still one great story to tell, Xenox. You called it. It's come to fruition. Is there a Prisma outside? Yep. Cringe. <laughs> no context needed. <laughs> oh, get a rider. You wouldn't. In the 15th round? Right chance says enough of that. The EDD, the cap can. What is this lineup? The mozzie, the cap can, the echo. 
such a tense round here, though, isn't it? Whenever you get to 7-7. Seven, seven. Black Ray. Oh! Shock from Pion! Get sucked down! Advantage Zepto. In this ultimate final round here on Cafe. If Cyclops win, they win the best of three. If Zepto win, we go to a third map of Villa. They, technically, now with Destiny in their own hands. Rekchan, low, on, out for the count. Eliminated by Suzushi. A minute and a half left. It's four versus four. Rob could not get any closer. It's unfolding page by page, word by word. Tayo. Looking to hit that Kobe, looking to dunk on top of Cyclops. Opportunity gone begging. The nades have dwindled here to all but naught. Two smokes, four flashes, four live drones on the field with a minute left. It's a third floor defense for Cyclops to win this. Forty-five seconds is all that remains of Cafe. Unless, of course, there's a diffuser that gets planted, in which that will add more time on. Corridor's not exactly a position where you want to be. Gatorada eliminated. Advantage back over to Zepto once again. Aegator gets antsy. He's got diffuser down. Three versus three. Oh, the tie-in with the trade. Whoa. That's the elimination onto Anaton. That's the echo taken off the board. And Aegator is low. Suzushi's had a rough go of things. And unfortunately, they both fall at the same time. Forget your fairy tales. Forget your comebacks. We are going to a third map. Villa is where this is all decided. Villa is where the fate of Zepto the storyline of the David vs. Goliath comes to an end. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what, Rob? I'm just going to say it. By the time this ends, it's going to be one in the morning. <laughs> it's been a long, long day. In some ways, I'm so happy for Zepto. In other ways, I'm absolutely distraught. It's been a very long day, but I'm absolutely stoked and excited to be heading to a third map. It is the conclusion we need for a best of three series of this caliber. We're gonna to go to a very short break when we do come back that you won't want to miss the conclusion of this semi-final.
Well, it's the home stretch here for the Rainbow Six Japan Championship semi-final. Uh, the best of three, Rob, was uh, something that wasn't necessarily a given, but something that has been deserved based off of the, the first two maps of Oregon and Cafe. One more to go for Cyclops versus Zepto. Hard to predict as to who's going to walk away. The winner, all I can say is whoever walks away, the loser will be severely disappointed because it has been such a close affair between the two teams. That it has. It's been tooth and nail from Oregon onto Cafe. Both maps went OT. It's only fitting that we go to Villa to determine our first grand finalist for Sunday. Which is uh, at least today. <laughs> oh my God. There you go. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's past oh midnight God, here in Australia, so, so I can't believe it. Hey, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes we've got some long days. This is just one of them. Yesterday was a bit of a shorter day. Oh, God. Good luck. Have fun in chat. I think they know we need it too, Xenox. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they can put on a show. I should, by the way, the stream uptime on the Rainbow Six Bravo channel is now 12 hours and 23 minutes. Oh, my God. So for everyone that has been watching for... Uh, as long as they have been watching, thank you. If there's anyone that's been watching for 12 hours and 23 minutes, I would say probably have a break. Guz, um, we're talking to you. <laughs> yeah. But no, very much appreciate everyone's support here um, for the Rainbow Six Japan Championship. Of course, the grand final will be tomorrow, today, uh, wherever it is in your time zone. Hard to sort of actually put into words as to when it is now, but hey. Let's get through this very final map of the day. I don't know what else to say. I ran out of words. No, no, that's okay. We've uh, it's been it's been a long day. We've been running out of words. One thing we haven't been running out of is time, apparently, because there's plenty of it. And uh, right now, I do predict like this has to be a banging finale, if that makes sense. Again reminding everyone at home the winner of this game books themselves the spot at the grand final for the japan championship 2021 now is as good a time as any to say you do not want to miss this you don't want your friends missing this you don't want your families missing this ensure that you get this across the line send this to your friends and to your family the match that you don't want to miss the the, the match that you didn't know you needed but now you know share it with loved ones. Perfect job, Rob. Well done, mate. That was great. You got there in the end. By the way, uh, we, we have a, a wonderful stats guy that uh, was helping out with us today, Perp. He went to bed yeah. five hours ago. He might be able to help us out for this uh, final map. I'm not sure. If he, had, <laughs> if he pops up after maybe a six hours sleep, who knows? But um, yeah, I doubt it, but that's okay. I won't be. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> I'll be uh, surprised if you haven't fallen asleep halfway through this villa, Rob. That's uh, kind of where I'm expecting you to go at the moment here. Cyclops on the attack, Zepto on the defense. For our final map of the semi-final, of course, to reiterate, tomorrow we have the other semi-final. That's going to be between Donuts USG and Gokun. Gokun? Con? I, can't, I, I still Go haven't cast no. them. Gokun. 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 Go, not Joe. It's not Joe. It's Go. Go. Like, like Go with go a Y in there. Go Grun, I believe. Go I actually don't know if that's how you do it. There we go. Oh. See, producer's letting me know that I'm right. There we go. Go Grun. I've got to learn by tomorrow because uh, I'll be casting that game, actually. Go Grun. Uh, my mama. Uh, Mom. Need, need, uh, need a bit more out of you on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, drone, honestly. Drone sees drone there. Xenox, drone sees drone. Mm. Early E1D deployed by Gatorada. Nothing too crazy, by the way, with uh, the bands. Maybe the token be to a no. degree, but everything else is uh, it's pretty much conventional here for Villa. Very aggressive little oh. push here by Cyclops with that uh, E1D. Yeah. Oh, another one rings out. Gee, Cyclops are not afraid to get in and use utility early. I mean, that's the first mm. minute they've already used two calls from the Lions, so only one left in the pocket. And 
just very quickly on that Dokubi ban, it is the third time we've seen it this series. Cyclops clearly targeting Zepto to ensure that they do not have that felt throughout either Oregon, Cafe, or now Villa. Oh, Final E went deep by Gatorada. Oh, he's got the ping as well. Bit of information, a minute and a half remaining in the round. Pion still has not been spotted. What? He finds the kill into Gatorada. They may know, but they don't find the kill. Advantage for Zepto. Ooh. To start early on here in the opening round here of Villa of the third map of this series. How have they not been able to flush him out? He's almost dead, surely. Full white, swing, kill. Easy. But only a minute left now in the round. That's it. As time ticks away now. Call upon Zepto. What's this hold like? I just realized we are actually in kitchen. I had not... Kind of, I don't know why I thought stat trophy was where we were. My mind playing tricks on me at the moment, but Zepto. I found a kill. Lua has been a, a pretty decent player across all three series, all three maps right now. We'll be able to back away into pantry and safely return to site. Oh, he again is following though. We'll get the easiest kill of his life onto oh! and The second one, which was a little bit more difficult onto Tayo. Lua and Rek Chan now versus Ayagator and Suzuki. Oh! Ayagator's got three. Lua, though, shuts down the multi kill, pulls out oh! the pistol. <laughs> Plays back and forth to start Villa. Not really surprised at this point, though, Rob, because it's the way that this best of three has played out thus far. It's definitely going to continue this way. I couldn't imagine that this is going to change whatsoever if this is what we've seen this is what we will continue to there's no doubt about it lua 1v2 on oregon lua 1v3 on cafe lua 1v2 on villa the clutch meister has entered the building i think this series has too I think the series entered the building about two hours ago, four hours ago. I don't even know anymore. Delirious at this point, but should probably mention, I guess, Zepto on the defense here of Villa. Um, they've also got a good record on Villa themselves uh, recently too. So you're probably expecting them to do well, right? On the defense, Villa, whatever. But it's actually their attacking win percentage of 61% is higher than their defensive percentage of 54%. Beyond with an easy uh, drone captured there early on. So if they can get off to a good start on the defensive Villa here, they've also got a very proficient attack on it. Uh, the same is actually said for the Cyclops as well. Defensively, they're not that great on it, but their attack is 60% win rate. So if Cyclops don't find that many rounds in the attack, they're not the best defensive team on Villa. They're not going to be a given. So we're going to know quite a lot by the end of this first half. telling tales and regardless of the tale of two halves maybe that is something that we can lean into like Shoy it's always been a name on the tip of our tongues that's for sure always looking fairly decent in these rounds a stronghold for Zepto. Nice drone there. The Gator just missing the timing there. Lua backs away. Really good decision from Zepto. They're kind of leaning into what we saw from CAG a little bit earlier. They are showing face incredibly aggressively. And then just back away. They allow for that time to burn through. And Gatorada now and Co. start to take that control from Sat across. Yeah, and you can see in the top right of your screen as well, 8, 6, 7, 8. This has been a very, very close series, a very long series. And that means that for these players on the stage as well, you've got to take note of that. Sure, by now, mentally exhausted, but there's a chance they're also physically exhausted as well. It's a toiling best of three for both teams. It is going to be a factor. Who that benefits? Maybe neither team. But... A minute and a half remaining. If Zepto get off to a really good start, Cyclops might be mentally drained that they might not be able to then try and bring back another massive comeback. 
That's it. They've had to dig deep, haven't they? Peon. Lua. Underneath. The Romans could really do some damage here to Cyclops, especially if that flank watch is not on point. You have to imagine the air job. It's pretty much half your job done. Oh, Lua and Eon both come together. And now Cyclops trying to make something happen. Nah, they're not going to be able to make anything happen. Not at a two versus five deficit. While well, we have seen comebacks in rounds like this, in this best of three, they're just not well equipped for it at this point. And Gatorado's got no health at all. No chance at all. Great start to Villa here for Zepto. Two nothing on the defense. Early signs are good. Considering they started extraordinarily well in Cafe, right? They had that 1-6 lead. We felt like it was a speed run. And had they been able to finish it off and, and win 7-1 or 7-2, not only would this series probably be over by now, but they would have been very much uh, carrying a lot of momentum into Villa. While they did win eventually on Cafe, the momentum uh, obviously didn't really follow suit that, with all that much. Yet, you start well here on Villa, win the first yep. two. Maybe if you can go up 3-0, that momentum that you would have brought is now going to be here. And that's just it, isn't it? It's, it's something that was was very easily a, a bit of a talking point for us when we were looking at it. We were thinking, okay, so Cyclops come back from a 5-1 down deficit to force it to OT. Regardless of whether they win or lose, they do manage to take the momentum into this third and final map on Villa, and it just hasn't been the case at all. Zepto has stepped up when it mattered. Again, you got to remember, we got like a... I think we have about a 15-minute break between map 2 and map 3, whereas map 1 to map 2 is only 3 to 4 minutes, so it's a very short turnaround. Whereas now teams have been able to go back sit, talk, and, and kind of uh, discuss on, on what may have been going right, but also what's been going wrong for all of these teams. And I, I think that it's very easy to see that Zepto have changed on their defense in the slightest fashion. Again, just leaning into that kind of discussion around playing aggressive and then backing away. More often than not, for Zepto on uh, Cafe, we were seeing them stick around. They were happy to be aggressive. They were happy to take those fights in which Cyclops can punish wasn't necessarily any of the winning formulas for them throughout the regulation time. As we do now, partway with Cafe, the storyline here on Villa, very much like our uh, our clutch, is uh, it's yet to be written, but it certainly is. It's on its way. I mean, Zepto starting out two rounds on the board, not disastrous, but it's not great at all. I think it's a slightly imperative that Cyclops, though, don't allow this lead to, to grow too much. Can they find a couple of rounds before it does grow beyond just a 2-0 lead and into three, maybe four? If at any point it replicates the scoreline on Cafe, I, I'm happy to call it at that point. I don't think they've got what it takes to, to bring it back again. Of course, even still, they fell short last time. What would be the chances that they would be capable of doing it the second time around? He gave it though, that's old information on that ping. So, unless it's trying to clear utility, it does not find any sort of player. Minute and a half remaining here in the third round. Still five versus five, which is honestly a win for Zepto more than it is for Cyclops. Black Gray sent pack. He, he takes a big chunk of damage. Suzuji. <laughs> <laughs> Suzuki, I don't know what I just said. I'm <laughs> Suzuki, you're getting that tired, mate. You're getting that tired, aren't you? Minute left. Thought. Take it, Rob. Oh my word! Anaton gets shut down. Rekjan being unbelievable throughout these series. Might have to step up again. The double kill. The kids dropped in bedroom, and neither player from Cyclops are in any position. It's Black Ray. It's another 1v4 clutch that's on the cards. <laughs> no, nah, not happening. But it's never on the cards. It's never on the cards, Xenox. No way. Oh. All that work on Cafe, that massive comeback from 6-1 down to OT to a 15th round to 7-8 to lose that. And then 
to start this poorly on Villa. I know it's their attack, and I know the way that this series has played out so far suggests that going into the second half, I am sure Cyclops will be able to get back into this. But it's about to be a 3-0 start for Zepto. They are edging closer and closer to that grand final position here for the Japan Championship. And Zyklops, they're going to feel that pinch. They're going to feel that pressure. They've been on that stage for a long time now. They're probably tired. It's, I mean, I'm sure, what's it, like 10.30? Yeah. At night over there? Yeah. And they've just called a very early tactical timeout, reminiscent of Cafe. Needs to be called, though. It needs to be called. Things are not going well at all from CAG's point of view. I can't even remember back to math at round one. Honestly, my brain is... <laughs> it's, it's been microwaved. But round two and round three have been so dominant. Like, utterly terrifying for CAG. Zepto have shut them down in both occasions without any response. So this has to come out here. You can't, you cannot let this snowball out of control. And we already know that, yes, CAG can come back from huge deficits. But one thing they don't want to do is allow this to, to fade away into the midst and again, Zepto to be in that driver's seat, which, yeah, I mean, they, they were for literally the entirety of cafe. Yeah, they can't let this snowball. And I and I do agree with the tactical timeout choice at three nothing. Regroup, gather themselves to close out basically the first half. Because at the end of the day here for Cyclops, they probably only want two rounds at best, and then back themselves in on the defensive half in the second half. Attackers need to locate. And so you take this timeout now. You formalize a plan. If they lose this round, I will actually call it. I've, I've got that gut feeling. I, I've just, typically, teams that take a tactical timeout yep. tend to find success on the other side of it. And when they don't, well, it all goes a little bit pear-shaped after that. And then at that point, it would be a 4-0 scoreline. At that point, Cyclops can only achieve, at minimum, 2-4 in the half. It'll be a long way back. They need to perform here in this fourth round. They need to get on the board, especially off the back of that tack timeout. The tack timeout works wonders, but again, it also gives your opponent that time to, to kind of break things down. And as much as it can grow, it can break the momentum, like the, the force that kind of comes behind Zepto at the moment, if Zepto are smart and they take their time with that and they really think about, you know, how they're going to utilize their their opponent's tactical timeout, it can get really quite scary. Peon, underneath, in the basement. Has Rekchan, oh God. I just know that this is the way the round starts. I just know that there's going to be something yeah. just unexpected. Something juicy? Yeah. What's, I guarantee nothing's going to happen. Oh, you reckon? I don't know how he achieves anything from there, though. I, I, I just can't shoot it through the wall. Huh? I said, I'm not sure there's anything he's going to be able to do from there. Who's your oven and R in that got me? Ah. No, we have fun here. We we have fun here at the uh, Band Championship. There's no doubt about it. We were having fun of his own. The amount of clutches that this player has been able to pull out is absolutely outrageous. Chan has to back away for a second. He does hit that shot 100% of the time. He hits it. He hits that too! There's no stopping this man. Unleashed like a beast and ready to slap Cyclops silly. Look at that score. Nine and one in four Rounds. The man is about to crack double digits. Rekchan has been wrecking Cyclops in an almighty fashion here on Villa. Now with a two-man advantage off the back of the tactical timeout, this is not looking good for Cyclops and their chances of heading to the grand final. They look maybe down and out, but when they do look down and out, it 
needs to fall on the likes of Gatorada and Anaton to find an avenue forward here for Cyclops. 50 seconds left, three versus four. Not impossible from here. Gatorada just eats the Soyuke. He gets inside of Memorial. The sled, oh, he took his head off with the hammer. Finds the kill anyway until Wash I can't even remember to say his name. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna take over from here on out. It is Wash Oh, the C4 takes down Anaton. Backs away. Tayo. Now in Pantry, they're both together. P. Yon, I don't know whether they know that both members are there, but the rotate is coming in. And now with 40 seconds on the clock, they have to get to work. Thirty seconds left. Nitrocell is still in the hands of Yon as well for the retake. Cyclops. Can they salvage this round? Gatorada and the Sledge should mean yes is the answer. Don't know how he didn't land those shots, doesn't matter. Suzu's there, and Suzu will save the day. Cyclops on the board here on Villa. Not one for the highlight reel, Rob. Not one to be watched back and to be studied, but it is a round win that they needed from an unfavorable position as well at that, off the back of the tactical timeout. So much was going against them. You could almost see it slowly happening. The 0-4, massive turnaround. Nothing short of it. It is certainly an opportunity that has gone begging for Zepto to hold on. Although I do enjoy the moment of the sledge knocking on the door, <laughs> knocking on the wall. That was all too enjoyable. Defenders, protect your bombs from being but again, by attackers. I mean, <laughs> Rakchan is having the villa of his life right now. And through all that hard work, it kind of comes crumbling down in front of them. Regardless, Cyclops, they take a much needed reprieve, my friend. They take the round after their tack timeout. They have a moment to themselves, as that is a big, big round. Lashoi, believe, ended up securing that mirror window on the wall facing toward the master bedroom, which I do wonder how hard they're going to stick to this extension, how hard they're going to stick to ensuring that Cyclops need to really force their hand. I mean, you look at the utility that's going in behind this, it, it seems quite significant. And you've got Rek Chan over here. Could be a fantastic position, but Cyclops might just completely ignore it. That's a very early e E1D by Gatorada. Ritaro Jones gonna get to work as well. Tayo just holding Brown stairs, but Gatorada. Why do we even throw, just get rid of the ADSs, mate? Come on. We've been here, we've, we've seen this already before. But a nice little rush onto site here for AVG. They're going to be able to open this up, get this plant down very early on. It's only the two minute mark. Aegator can get this diffuser down behind Bar. Add it to the kill. Oh, the Nitrosol, though, from Lua. Doesn't change too much, though. In terms of the overall picture, four versus two. Gatorada's down, but it don't matter. He's got help. He's got friends in higher places. Cyclops. They lost the first three rounds, Rob, but they are slowly bringing it back here on Villa. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've seen the storyline. Hang on one second, Xenox. Washoi. Washoi. No nitro cells, so I can't flick that one around the corner. Oh, actually, has the mirror window to actually help him out here. Straight into Vault. Still a minute and a half, but of course that Diffuser not down or anything like that. Black Grey loses 99 out of 100 of his health. Washoi in a one versus two. Can't beat the one of Suzu. Suzu has been the final deciding kill in the last two rounds. And Xenox, need I say, Suzu has oh. been... Very quiet this entire series, but it's coming alive now. Yeah. Over on Oregon. 
a very you know poor performance to be quite frank and obviously on cafe he struggled immensely after a, a little bit of a decent start on cafe and then just sort of <laughs> didn't really do much after that but we know that suzu is a really really top player um we've seen that internationally just what sometimes you have a bad day sometimes you just have an off day sometimes you just have a couple of off maps maybe on villa this is where suzu can obviously bring it back not just for himself, but obviously the team, Cyclops, obviously protect your bombs from being with a massive attack. comeback on Cafe, but then it drains all of your energy, doesn't it? That comeback yes. in itself, that if Zepto start really well on Villa, you think, well, geez, was that all for naught? Could have been. <laughs> it well and truly could have been. I guess we'll find out at the end of the day, but regardless, Xenox, what we were really telling as a tale that Zepto could have finished this half 5-1. It looks like it is just going to be 4-2. And... Five seconds left. There is a... Concern. There's a concerning feeling letting Cyclops back into a series. There really is, Xenox. Mm. The foot's in the door. How much further will they take it? Well, one round to go, obviously, in this particular half. 3-3 scoreline for Cyclops would be, honestly, a very good result from all things considered, being down 0-3 to start this first half. If Zepto, though, can still, of course, get a 4-2 half, that in itself is actually quite commendable. Yes, they had an amazing start. Yes, you maybe think that they could have actually gone and, and, and gotten a better score, but 4 2 half is still really good. Lua over towards Astro, the Nitro Cell, and just thinks better of it for the time being, and maybe for good reason. I'm not sure if it would actually catch anyone. Nade from Gatorada. Not also finding the mark either. In fact, it's actually trying to get rid of this mirror window. So, Vert established for Cyclops, trying to deal with the mirror window. Once they deal with that, a lot of the utility as well, then eventually can start pushing up above. Now getting to work, gotta be careful here. It's where things start to get a little bit haywire. Don't wanna stick around for too much longer there, Rekchan. Can't afford to be that opening death. Has been for the last couple of rounds now, I think the last two. Two, yeah, two. Oh, Gerardo, what's happened here? Oh, no. Top round stairs. Well, obviously one out last time over at Brown stairs. That was a big influence in tanking oh, ABG. Place, yeah. This time they lose. Is oh, it? no Black way! Even expecting the trade, but got the first kill on Tulu, and that was all that was needed. So a short-lived advantage for Zapdo. Back now to an even number. Four versus four. Of course, this is AVG, Aviator Games for this site. It's a repeat for Zepto. They'd lost it in the round prior. What's Aviator cooking up here? Ready for Z -Day. Nothing substantial anyway. Aviator, I'm going to swing at the bottom of Art. He might be able to cut this rotate coming back. Oh my god, the timing works out as a god tier for Peon who now holds at the top of main stairs. But look at this. Just bit by bit, they're crumbling Xenox. Yeah, and it's been a, a very commendable effort as well for Cyclops. You know, you're down 0-3, you think maybe it's all just too much, but they fight back. They don't give up, they don't quit. They've now won three in a row to close out this first half of our final map of the day. Cyclops are bringing it back. They were down 0-3. They looked somewhat down and out. They called a tactical timeout. They needed to. And since then, they've now won three in a row. And a 3-3 half as well on their attack on Villa. Not all that bad, Rob. Now they get to go over to the defense and see if they can just sort of sit back, absorb the pressure that will come from Zepto. And if they can do that, fire back just a few more punches. Maybe that chance and that spot at the grand final tomorrow, or today, wherever you are, is still on the line and still up for grabs for Cyclops. Honestly, it's almost today in Japan as well. So <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter where you live at this point. Unless of course you're over in Europe, in which case it's in three days time. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, time zones. They blow my mind, but so too did the performance of Cyclops here. I mean, you broke the momentum of Zep, though, and you broke mm. them down. We had literally just popped off about Rekshan and the fact that he was 7-1, Xenox. And since then, not a single kill. Not even an opening. It was 9-1. It was 9-1. Well, I said 7-1, I said didn't I? My apologies. My apologies. Yeah. I didn't mean to say 9-1. That's just the, uh, the late night manic coming out in me. Yeah, and, and yeah, you're right though. Hasn't obviously been able to do anything since then and was absolutely going off along with his team. You have to question Rec Chan a little bit, but uh, for the most part, still did his job where required. 3-3 three, three, half. Can we find another 3-3 three, three, half here in the second half to send it to yet another overtime? Of course, the maps prior, 8-6 and 7-8. All we know is nothing but overtimes in this series. <laughs> Nothing but close matches and close rounds. And it's really what I guess we have come to expect here, even now on Villa. In some ways, I would be somewhat disappointed if we don't go to an overtime. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Uh, we may as well just close it off with a bang, right? What's an extra couple of minutes well. now? Yeah, very true. Very true. Uh, then again, the average uh, the average time that we generally take for a, a round is five minutes. So, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's still a good uh, 15 minutes extra that would be there for, mate. I'll show, I'll show you, sorry. Hasn't really had uh, the ability to, to kind of dismantle Cyclops that we'd seen on Cafe. But look at this from Suzu. This could be dangerous. Yeah, and we've also seen a lot of time already elapsed, right? Only a minute, 20 seconds left. Suzu got caught. But Aegator was there for the trade anyway. Got Pion immediately after finding the opening pick on Suzu. So four versus four. Again, like the round prior, it is close late round. 90 control established for Zepto. Now, what can they do to actually work this wall? Of course, they've got the Habana. Tayo now over there looking to open up 90 with 55 seconds remaining. Guess we ask, is it enough time? Seems like Zepto have a decent amount achieved. They've been able to deal with the deployable shields and the rest of the util. Default was still left up, though. That's quite a quite a significant chunk of intel that they would have been able to play off right now. Lua gets forced away. The trades come out. Oh my word. Tayo is not done right now. Forcing their way through this series. They're going to be able to stick this plant. Yeah, plants over towards Bart. Oh, Nitro still. Oh, oh, actually denies the plant. Gets the down. Lua's watching. Tries to oh, pick up, but gets caught anyway from Ayagata. Cyclops make it four rounds in a row to take the lead here on Villa. The suspense, you can feel it from here. Zanox, you can feel it from home. The two teams, which look but 10 feet apart from each other, would be able to feel that energy. Land environment is giving us the absolute pinnacle. And they are stepping up to the plate here, CAG. Can Zepto respond? This is four rounds straight now. For what we consider to be the titan of the Japanese siege scene. Yeah, and for what we consider to be a good opportunity for Zepto to overcome said, uh, said titan. I mean, there's no better opportunity than now to sort of knock them off their perch, make the grand final. Obviously got out to an immensely big lead on Cafe, sure. That lead was eventually brought back by Cyclops, but yet Zepto still won anyway. Then they get out to a 3-0 start here on Villa. They've had opportunities. They've had moments in this series where Zepto have looked like the better team. But yet Cyclops, through sheer perseverance, and honestly, just probably through sheer experience in general, have been able to constantly claw their way back from what seems like overwhelming deficits. And now it's at the point for Zepto, they're like, how many times do we have to keep trying to knock this team down? And yet they keep getting back up. 
And Zepto might just be out of ideas. They might just be done. They're like, oh, we can't do this anymore. Cyclops are just like a zombie that just keeps attacking them. Now Cyclops have the lead here on Villa. 4-3 on the defense. Changing legs. Can they make it 5-3? If that happens, Zepto's got to call a tactical timeout because at that point, it would be five in a row. Shock loaded. Knowing your luck, they're not going to call that tact timeout. They're just going to keep fighting through it, Xenox. Coach Xenox would have them calling that and sitting back and trying to figure out what to do next. Aya Gator now with the information. Isn't going to be able to do anything on that. Blew up the outside. Chan getting the information just in toward the top or the bottom of main stairs, I should say. Gatorada swings. And once more, the opening kill goes the way of Cyclops and they double down. They make wow. matters worse. In fact, they are absolutely slaughtering Zepto, who cannot respond. They do finally, but this should be done and dusted. Washoi. Very little chance though, only Pion by his side elsewhere. Inox Scanner does find one. Minute and a half remaining, down two. We've seen comebacks though in this series. It's not over in this round. Don't count out Zepto. If they can create some 1v1s or 2v1s and play off of each other, they can bring it back. That is going to be the final adrenal search, though. No more from Washoi. For Cyclops, though, this is where they need to actually play within themselves. Don't overpick. Don't get overzealous. Hold your positions. Hold your angles. Play off of each other. Trade shots when needed. If you lose one, that's fine. Get the trade, though. Ping. Oh, wow. You will never see a shot like that. Sure, you got the ping, but still, Washoi... With a massive headshot. Ayagator with the information of the hatch above. Still only 50 seconds remaining, but it's Gatorada that makes it now virtually impossible for Bjorn. Needs one versus three. Diffuser in hand, though. And on site. Attackers have located a bomb. But for how Anderson. much longer? That's the big question. It's going to be Anderson. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You got as excited as I did then, Xenox, because that could have been on and it would have rolled on and echoed through. Cyclops, not to be shut down promptly. They're playing incredibly well right now, CAG. And yeah. the tack time, this has to be tack timeout for Zepo. I, I, yeah. They need it. Yeah, and it is. And and Coach Sanox would be proud of them for taking <laughs> said tactical timeout at this point. I mean, whenever you're giving up five rounds in a row, at that point, you need something to stem the bleeding. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do that in the, the rounds themselves. This can at least just slow down that momentum. They can buy some time drink some water, uh, talk over some things. Obviously, at this point, now they're starting to look a little bit concerned. Not only has it been a long day for them as well on the stage, this match has been taking its toll. Uh, and obviously, a team like Cyclops has been here before. They've been in this position. They're used to being on the stage. I don't know about Zepto. And now, for what feels like the first time maybe since Oregon, Zepto find themselves down and staring down the barrel of defeat. Because obviously, as we're a bit as we remember on Cafe, they were up 6-1. They were winning the entire way. So at no point did they feel the pressure as much on Cafe. They led from start to finish. But now here on Villa, they, they led, but that lead now is gone. Down 5-3, yeah. attack, timeout called, must win the next round. It's completely dwindled. It has completely diminished and vanished in their own hands. Once again, we lean into the conversation of this is good for Zepto, or we hope it to be. Cyclops, they took their attack time out five rounds ago, and look at what it's done for them. Wonders, it has. And Zepto, they now hope to imitate and replicate that kind of success. Whether they will be afforded that is a completely different discussion altogether. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm just quietly... Quietly noticing as well, the um, the old Rainbow Six Private Channel is starting to pick up a little bit in viewership over the last uh, few moments or so. For those that have just tuned in, of course, this is the final map of what's been a very long day. The winner of this match, this particular Villa game, goes to the grand final tomorrow. Of course, this being a $130,000 USD tournament here for the Japan Championship, this matters a lot. Uh, this prize pool is even bigger than that of an APAC North stage. Of course, as we know that Cyclops play in. So for Zepto, as the underdog in this little situation, they have fought so valiantly, but now can they just fight that little bit more? 
to continue this against Cyclops. And might I add, the last APAC North Japanese team remaining in this tournament. Guts eliminated. Fav eliminated. So much on the line here for both teams. And Cyclops now just one round away from a match point. What's even cooler about that, Xenox, is it's actually Guts that were taken down by Zepto. So an even bigger factor in there. Hello and welcome. Of course, uh, if you were wondering what our faces looked like uh, with our voices, I'm sure you're sorely disappointed, but we are back, Xenox. Hey, uh, and speak for yourself. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously quite, just a little, bit of a, a little bit of a tech issue there momentarily. We do apologize. Of course, we'll be back in very, very shortly. Um, obviously, as we, we need more time to, uh, to spend in this in this best of three series, <laughs> Rob. It's been a great one to watch, though. Can I just say, um, I do want to apologize for, for maybe the, the tiredness of us in this particular best of three. I honestly wish this had been the one at the very beginning of the day because we would have been able yeah. to maybe do it a little bit more justice uh, that it has so thoroughly de deserved. It's actually been severely enjoyable to watch uh, these two teams go back and forth throughout uh, pretty much every map going to OT. Uh, we had a 15 rounder, a 14 rounder, and obviously now on Villa it's 5-3. We had a 3-0 start for... Um, oh, I forgot that. Zepto? I can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for Zepto. No, and then obviously okay. for Cyclops that now won five in a row. So this best yeah. of three has had everything and more as well, Rob. And um, yeah. yeah, I do apologize for a little bit about tiredness. It is uh, almost one in the morning here and we started at 11 in the morning. Yes, yes, it has. Uh, it, it's been a, a pretty big day for, uh, for all involved and I'm sure the staff uh, at the at the venue as well would really start to be feeling this so yeah. send your love to the uh the wonderful team because it it certainly has been a uh a long and stay haul, hydrated right? and of course stay hydrated you can't forget to do that once and i'm so glad that you got your drink bottle nearby i think i yeeted mine away in a play-by-play -play moment i don't know where i'll put it i think i've uh, i think i have sent it over the back of my backdrop um, so there we go. Make sure you stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen, because it will come back to haunt you. But sure, what's going to come back to haunt Zep, though, is that tack timeout from Cyclops. I mean, five yeah. rounds ago, they took it. And since then, it has been unbelievable. Unbelievable. And this is just the, the signs that really start to worry me. I'm not going to lie. This is where we look to Zep, though, and go, okay, in terms of your experience versus the experience of that the titans of the Japanese scene. Where where do you find this motivation? Where do you find this deep kind of burning desire? I know the burning desire is there, but where do you find that last kind of grasp, if that makes sense? Because you gotta remember yeah. as well, it's late here, but it's also late in Japan. I mean, it depends what you classify as late. I'm sure Guz, uh, who's in the chat right now, would probably classify uh, 3 a.m. more so as a, as a fresh start in the morning. But um, yeah, it's 11 p.m at the venue and all the teams have been there for quite a considerable amount of time so there's no doubt that that fatigue starts to set in and xenox i know you've already lent into this but um just the fact that, that this is such this has been such an emotionally draining match like yeah both both ups and downs. Map one, yeah both map one and map two finish in a two versus two don't forget so it, it's just been an utter an utterly chaotic night um but I'm glad I've got you with me, mate. You know what I mean? Uh, honestly, it's been a, it's got a, it's been a lot of fun, Rob. And I, and I gotta say, <laughs> did you actually just hit repeat on yourself? Did you? <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on anymore at this point. I'm just basically going through the motions. But if I had to do it with anyone, it would be you. It guys would be too boring. I would have honestly yeah. fallen asleep by now. Yeah. And same with Dev. He would have just been yeah. basically just reading off the uh, the match tracker, and that's about it by this point. Yeah. Resident oh, we do have our wonderful oh. Japanese cast as, as well, but uh, basically working even harder than us in the stadium, yes. in those yeah. suits as well. I mean, yeah. like, I've got, I've got pants on that are, like, basically sleepy pajama pants. You guys oh, can't yeah. see that, obviously. So, uh, you know, you just see my, my wonderful little, uh, you know, floral shirt, but uh, I couldn't imagine... Oh no! Not being in a, in a suit. suit for that long. <laughs> it's been a long yeah. time since we've we've been in that situation. I remember the last yeah. time that I was in a stadium environment was 2019. Huh. Rob, when was when was your last Gee. time? I think actually uh, it would have been 2019 yeah. as well. Yeah, it was 2019. It was 2019. There you go. 
Kudos, Bank uh, Arena. When was, the last time, the last when was the last time Guz was in a stadium? In oh, Rome? you know what? Uh, he was he was in the crowd for MEI oh, 2019. Crowd? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'd have, to, uh, uh, we'd have to ask his opinions on that one, but I'm sure that he wouldn't be too happy. But look, I concur with you. I'm wearing my basketball shorts right now. It's, the, the, home cast, <laughs> the home cast have made me get too too bloody comfortable, I tell you that much. I'm a little bit uh, worried what happens when we do go back to a venue and we're going to have to be more right. presentable from top to bottom. This is going to yeah. concern. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I thought home casts were over, but apparently not. So, <laughs> Guz is nodding. He's like, yeah, good job, Xenox. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's good from you is what he would say. Um, <laughs> obviously, even for the players, you can see for them, it's been such a draining experience. Uh, in this particular best of three, um, it's not easy. It's honestly very difficult um, for them as well, especially when it's such a close match. Like, this is not like a very one-sided affair that like, all right, let's hurry up. Let's just see Cyclops get the job done as you expect. But like, no, this has been so back and forth, so mentally draining. Of course, the rehost has completed. We needed to have a full Rehost for that tech issue. Thank you, everyone, for sticking with us. By this point, if you've stuck with us up to that rehost and want to see the conclusion of this game, I probably anticipated many would not leave. And of course, actually, you know what? It's gotten to that point since we're about to hit 1 a.m. We can kind of have a little bit of fun here, as we do have fun here. This being a LAN environment means that this stream is live, by the way. So when White yes. Wolf says, just got to hit Manic with the Who's Casted SI, I say... Uh... I give you a nod there, White Wolf. That's a good one. That's a very, very good one. So, yeah. Look, big thank you to everyone who has been watching. It means a lot. Yep. Not just for us. Like, whatever. Don't worry about us. But it means a lot for um, the Japanese region. Uh, yep. Obviously, this is the first time that the Japanese exactly. region has been able to really get that sort of English cast and to slowly start building that audience. It's such a fantastic region. Um, and obviously, like, you can see the stadium in itself, right? And how amazing it is. Imagine when the crowds are back. And imagine like a, a Cyclops versus Guts final for the Japan Championship next year with the large crowds. Like that is a spectacle of Rainbow Six for any region, obviously. And I think it is something that the Rainbow Six community should be more aware of. And that's uh, obviously why we uh, have been involved in trying to uh, showcase it to everyone. Yeah, and this is hashtag not an ad. But uh, uh, certainly haven't been, paid, haven't, haven't been paid to say this either. But seriously, the, the Japan team have been absolutely incredible with, uh, with all of us commentators. And it's been an absolute privilege to get on board with this. So, uh, you know, I, I, hope that, uh, I hope that we do continue to work in this fashion. Because honestly, I don't think I've ever been so entertained watching matches. It's, it's been chaotic. It's been crazy. It's been ups and downs and all arounds. But certainly it has led to this point. Now, reminding you, everyone at home, you don't want to miss tomorrow. Championship Sunday is what we have on the agenda. And one of these teams is going to be playing off against either USG uh, or Goy Gun. Oh, oh damn, I just did you. Goy Gun, sorry. Which, uh, honestly, Goy Gun, up and comers. Zep, yeah, up and comers. USG, and up and comers. For our late night viewers here, I'll give you a sneak peek, but uh, I will reveal one of the casters for the grand final is Dev Mata, the one and only, the golden head boy, the legend of ANZ Siege, APAC, SI, three time SI caster, well, technically two time SI analyst, one time SI caster. I won't reveal the other one though, that's a secret. Shh. That they are a one time remote SI oh, caster, me. right? Yes. <laughs> Zep, you, you, this, <laughs> this is your well, last, your last this of, is my last this is my last broadcast. Yeah. From the last couple of rounds of the Japanese uh, the, the Japanese tournament known as Japan Championship 2021. Reload. Well the game is back now of course, so we'll turn our attention to a minute and twenty seconds remaining in this ninth round. Off the back of a rehost, of course, as you can see with the big zeros everywhere on everyone. Stats is going to be aggated with the elimination of its entire Black Ray. Gets a second now for Cyclops. Of course, they've now won five rounds in a row. It was attack timeout into attack timeout for Zepto, but yet it has been all for naught. Cyclops have basically picked up where they left off.
Devastating. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Absolutely devastating. Lua. Okay. Hey. Xenox, we've seen a 1v2, a 1v3. Oh my god, are we about to see a 1v4 from this madman? Don't do it, Lua. Wouldn't it be a 1v5? It's got three kills. Could well be. I don't know it, whether it was. Oh, it had to have been. Had to have been a 1v5. A 1v5 ace clutch. 20 seconds left for Lua to make it happen. It could just be the spark left. that Zepto need to find victory in the ninth round. Gets off the diffuser, feels the pressure, but unfortunately, there's just no time remaining. Has to stick it now. Cannot get off of it. Great little moment here, but unfortunately, Lua gets shut down. Rob, we are on serious point. Jake. Match point, series point, grand finalist deciding point. Okay. You didn't have to How add that one in. How many times can I say point? <laughs> you make a good I'm point. I'm just trying to make my own point. It is the, CAG the point, all the way. The point I want to really make here as well is that six rounds in a row to Cyclops now, right? We have to remember yeah. back to the start of Villa. It was a 3-0 start for Zepto. You and I were probably both sitting there thinking, right, well, that 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 cafe game was, uh, you know, interesting, <laughs> but this is going to be a sweep here on Villa. Nah, uh the comeback has been so good. Attackers need to the Zepto have not been able to stop it at all. Six rounds in a row for Cyclops. Now with three match points to book their ticket to the grand final tomorrow. And honestly, we'll go into that grand final as the utmost favorites of taking out the Japan Championship here for 2021. <laughs> Mad skill. <laughs> hey? Mad, mad skill. For, sorry if I've said your name wrong in chat. It's like, it's the let me go home point for the customers. <laughs> oh jeez, uh, it is. Yeah, he makes a good point. Attackers are heading out to use a bomb. Does he make a good point? That's the real question. Well, CAG have made a, a point of it for themselves that they too deserve to be a back-to-back -back champion, and why not? It just seems so fitting at this point. Action. Trying to open things up here, but no one from Cyclops are going to face. Oh. Yeah, and without obviously spelling the demise of Zepto too early, there's still a chance they can bring this back, but it, it's been a very valiant effort. They've been so fun to watch. Yeah. They've been a really good sparring partner of Cyclops and I would definitely say they would be the favorites for the third place match mm -hmm. or at least that's just based off what we've seen from this game still some pretty yeah. decent competition of course in the other semi-final that which will be tomorrow just under two minutes remaining yeah into the 10th round it's been a long series but Cyclops on the verge of completing this series with a win. Tuzu. Still with red control. How do Zepto flush this out? Really nice shot on the AE gator. They can now start to take red control just like that. That's how they do it. That's how they get it done. And Zepto are now looking the goods to force this into another round. But I tell you what, Black Ray has been the villain of the storyline for Zepto all too often. And may well do it again. Yeah, but Guz has cursed them here. Guz has gone for the, I want the long game finish. I want to see the boys suffer more. And you know what that means. Zepto's going to fall here. It's probably going to be Anderton or Gatorada that uh, finds the kills for Cyclops. I've, it's basically a given at this point. Kind of stations, of course, gives them that extra health late round. It's just all set up for a Cyclops win. Best analysis you'll ever find, by the way. Yep. 40 seconds left as well, Rob. This is it. Bring it home. Cyclops about to win this round, I'm telling you. Get a right up. 
Oh, oh my goodness, gets absolutely deleted, but they've Thank handicapped you. themselves in a small little faction and oh, can't find a kill. Again, Black Ray, the villain to the Zepto storyline here in the Japan Championship. Anaton works on the side. They've got to get this done. 15 seconds left, Pion pushes into Vault, finds the kill. Now in one versus one, Anaton with that Kona station obviously gets a little bit more health. Pion has to stick to plant though. Anaton understands this, he starts to push in, he starts to try and find him. If he denies the plant, that's it, it's over. The plant does go down, it is successful. Anaton still slow, walking! Pion holds the angle, hits the headshot, gets the round win. Keeps us here just that little bit longer. You said OT, Guz said OT. I'm feeling OT. This could go the distance. <laughs> Two rounds is all that's in it, Xenox. Two rounds. It is a very could real you prospect. Another overtime. Another overtime could be on the card. Zepto finally break through. Finally end a six round winning streak of Cyclops. Six, four. This would be the deserved finish to this series, though. Another OT. Why not at this point? You know what? Who cares? I don't... You know what? At this point, who am, I don't even know who I'm casting with tomorrow, but I hope it's... I hope it's Guz. And he's going to get to just carry me like he does every other cast anyway. <laughs> Good to see not much changes. Not much changes. Uh, I'll tell you what. Shoulders are getting a bit sore. No doubt about it. And I mean, could you could you just imagine that this is actually like we actually go OT here, and Zepto are the ones that kind of bring oh. back that storyline from what we saw from the way that Cyclops brought it back on Cap A. This literally, it would be the most poetic finish to a Rainbow Six match that we could ever ask for. Yeah, in any region, it would be the best match of all time. Honestly, the best of three, the best match of all time. <laughs> Eight, six, seven, eight into a seven, eight. Hundred percent, hands down. No question, no cap. On God. Hundred, hundred p on a stack. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I really, I don't think I've ever cast with you this late. This is what happens. <laughs> Zenox after dark, is it? Zenox after dark just starts no. throwing out gun <laughs> kid phrases. No cap at all. <laughs> nah, there's some cap. There's a little bit of cap. I'm waiting for the sheesh here. <laughs> no, that. That I, I'm not allowed to do that one apparently. Says who? There's a long story. Is uh, there's a long story? I'll tell you off air. I can't. I, it's too long to tell you on air. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. We uh, I expect a twit longer um, within the next half an hour. So we'll all uh, we'll all take place and watch this glorious reason. Here, Gator, getting a little bit of information here. So Cyclops will be able to work. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. <laughs> Could be on the cards. I wouldn't count out Cyclops though. It's only a four versus five deficit. Not impossible. Although, right jab makes overtime. it just a little bit more difficult. Nitro Cell from Ooh. Suzuki. Gets at least one back onto Lua. Some of these rounds on Villa have been somewhat slow, but this one has picked up the pace. Minute 35 seconds left. Still, that one man advantage for Zapdo. Showing. Can open up a lot of sight lines. Aegator just trying to find some information with the cardiac sensor. Oh. What? I swear he just saw him running around. How has he been able to find That's that? Is he going to find a second? <laughs> How did he shut that down, Xenox? This is unreal. The game that just what? keeps on giving. That should have been it. How are you not winning that fight? How do you allow that, have located a that turnaround? Man, just like... I, I just don't even know if that's humanly possible. Under 40 seconds left. Anaton, Suzu located by attackers put us out of our misery <gasps> losing players but now it's a two versus attackers one their suzu with 20 seconds left to deny plant why and rick 
but Wreck Chain can play off of each other on site. They've got the Fuser in hand as well. <gasps> Who's covering? We're sure covering Suzu. Oh, it's Suzu! Suzu! He's won it! Suzu's won it for Cyclops Athlete Gaming! They are going to the grand final of the Japan Championship! Oh my god! What is that? The late round clutch. We should have gone to a 12th round. We should not have had it decided there, but he's all too good. He's all too calm. He is all too damn collected. Xenox, CAG, they fight tooth and nail from beginning to end. Woo! Oh my word. Let's go, Cyclops. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Final. What a match. What a best of three. We don't go to our third overtime of the series. It is denied by Suzu. 7 4 was the final score. And, and what a fitting ending as well, because Suzu is a player of note throughout this entire best of three for struggling on Cafe, struggling on Oregon, and then gets the clutch of the series at the end. Rob, what a finish. What a performance. What a way to close that one out. I mean, uh, I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> we'll taken back at the moment. Uh, three banging matches, and that's how it concludes. I mean, just what a, what a clutch, what a storyline for CAG. And look, unfortunately, heartbreakingly so, it is our oh. dear friends at Zepto that get taken down at the final hurdle. They were one they were so good. away. They played phenomenally, Xenox. Yeah, they, they were great. And honestly, yeah, it's obviously very sad for them that they won't be able to make the grand final, but they put up an immense effort. They pushed Cyclops to the limit, forced out so much from them in what was such an amazing series. And look, they will have gained so much from that particular game. They can't be too disappointed. They still have the third place match to look forward to, of, of course, tomorrow. So they will be still playing tomorrow along with Cyclops in the grand final. Um, yeah, hope, hopefully they're not too down on themselves. They obviously still had an opportunity to win there at the end. They could have easily sent it to 6-5, but um, yeah, I, a full credit obviously to Cyclops for pulling through because they looked a little bit down and out. They were down 3-0 to start Villa, and I honestly felt like maybe they were going to just cave in, but no, they dug deep and showed the mental fortitude of a team that has seen success in, uh, in the international stage, APAC North, at, yeah, when they played at the Mexico Major, of course, didn't have a great ending there, but um, that was the Cyclops we expect to see, that win, yeah. and they will gain so much from that as well as the team moving into the grand final. Certainly so. They dug their heels in Xenox, and I don't think that there is any other way that uh, we, we could have seen this one going. When you when you look at the way that it's uh, kind of unfolded, we expected Zep, though, to put up an incredible fight that they have, but it is CAG. It is the composure. It is the cool, calm, collected nature that we know from them. Uh, and I think overall, got to be very, very happy with, uh, with Cyclops. I mean, look, closer than they probably would have liked it, but they get it done and uh, they get it across the line. You all right there, mate? Yeah, so I was just getting a little bit of hair on my face there. I fixed it all up. We're all good. Um, I just want to say, firstly, congratulations to Cyclops, of course, for making uh, the grand final. See, Hybrid in chat. Ciao, Hybrid. Hello. Um, congratulations. Um, well earned victory. Absolutely pushed to the limits. Of course, we'll see them tomorrow. Um, big thank you to everybody for watching throughout the broadcast today. It's been a long one, 13 and a half hours. Dev says, off the rails. Um, yeah, this broadcast was off the rails. Big thank you um, to, of course, all of the production as well um, that was Incredible along job. with us on the journey today. Their train, the trains are no longer taking them home. So best of luck to our production crew. Um, <laughs> the grand final tomorrow. Guys, same channel here for the Rainbow Six Bravo. Go and tell everybody. Obviously, if you enjoyed this series, it's going to be just as good tomorrow. So we'll see you then.